Today we are using the best use of our pantry staples. This thick rich curry is something that you will never want to miss. Let's get started with the recipe. In a medium heated pan, add oil and saute one roughly chopped onion until it's soft and translucent. To this, add 4 cloves of garlic and mix them well. Once this mixture starts to caramelize a bit, Add one medium sized tomato and cook until it softens. Adding one tablespoon of tomato paste. This is totally optional. You can also add three to four tablespoons of tomato puree instead. This addition enhances the color and texture of the curry. Make sure to lower the temperature at this point as the paste can get burnt quickly. Let's now add the spices. In goes a 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of red chili powder, 1 teaspoon of turmeric and 1 teaspoon of cumin powder. Mix the spices well. You can always substitute the red chili powder with paprika as well. Adding 1 cup of water and letting it boil for 1 to 2 minutes. This boiling point, toss in one cup of chickpeas that's rinsed and drained. I am using the canned chickpeas here. And of course, salt to taste. In goes the one and a half cup of roughly chopped baby spinach. This is the best option if you are trying to figure out what to do with a pile of spinach that's in your refrigerator. Give it a good mix until all the ingredients are well combined. This is the consistency that I am looking for. Finally, adding 4 to 5 tablespoons of coconut cream. You can always substitute this with heavy whipping cream, half and half, or even coconut milk. The smell is incredible. Finally, a touch of garnish. It's impossible to go wrong with this recipe. This flavorful and absolutely delicious curry is best served with naan or rice. I'm super happy to be sharing this simple dish with each one of you. The detailed recipe is given down at the description box. Do try this out and I would love to hear from you. Before signing off, don't forget to subscribe, like and share.